<laughs> That's all Buddy wants us to do. Are you okay? No. No, he's not okay. I need help. Ever. Ever. Are you going to intro this or am I going to intro it? Am I going to have to introduce the show? First of all, let me find out what day it is. Dear ladies and gentlemen, today's April the 12th, 2017. Right here with me is Pedro Fargini at a distance, Ivan. I'm Alejandro. And let's talk about cars, yo. Hit it, Pedro. <laughs> With a paper plane. <laughs> what? That's, that's all what, I had. Whatever happened to the gong? That's all I had. Be- the gong's know, not here. It's still at the office, right? This is a podcast. People can listen to the paper plane hit the, the, the camera. Oh, we could do a, a noise like... <laughs> uh, so let's hop into the episode. What are we talking about today, Pedrini? We're talking about a few things, a few important things, and a few things that you guys have been asking about for a long time. But first, I want to warm up with a little personal question, like Ooh. we always do. <laughs> That's how I warm up my personal how, how questions. Pers- how personal? It's, it's pretty personal, Farshad. Oh, it's man. Okay. I was 16. I, I was 16. But, but listen, I didn't know... What she was doing. Okay, Fargini, <laughs> Fargini, Fargini. I'm gonna start with you. Okay, I'm gonna start with you. I want. I want to know whenever you, whenever you've bought a car, what is the most exciting moment that you've had buying a car? Like where, where you felt the most emotions, where you felt the happiest. I mean, also it could have been the the least, you know, the the right. the worst that you felt buying. Right. A Why car. don't we do both? Let's do both. I like that idea. Uh, give, yeah, give us your best. It okay. could be moment or it could be car. And why? Your best and worst moment and of buying worst. a car. Okay, the best would have to be when my dad got me a twin turbo Dodge Stealth. Oh boy, I know because what this I, is I know going. I know we've talked about this a lot, but imagine at the time and it was a 92, 300 horsepower, all wheel drive, four wheel steering, blah 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 blah, 0 to 65 seconds. That's the equivalent of today like today getting a GTS, a GTS, uh, AMG GTS at 18. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, of course. Of course. But that, that also the, had to have been your worst moment because you I then, then I got in a wreck in it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Is that <laughs> it? Came full circle, yeah. How absolutely. soon did it take you to wreck the car after you got it? Um, it was in the it was in the driveway when we finished the transaction. He said, "Please sell your current one, and then you can drive this new." Because we had two, I have two of them. Yeah. So the new one was sitting there. He goes, "Please sell the old one, then drive the new one." I go, "No problem, Dad." And then he left, and then we immediately got in the car and crashed it. So less than four hours, five hours. <laughs> day one. <laughs> yeah. Holy day, not, shit! Not even not even day one. Like Holy hours. Shit. Like hours. Wow. How can you resist not driving? That? I know not, that's that's the pr- it's like walking out of. Uh, walking out of a Fast and the Furious movie, like thinking, right. no, I'm going to take it easy. There's no way you're going to walk nobody's out of there taking it, it easy. You're going to get in the car, you're going to go, Vroom. hey, let me tell you this. Nobody, like you said, Pedro, nobody's taking it easy coming out of those movies. Yeah. It's like watching Rocky, right? <laughs> what do you do when you get out of Rocky? You, you immediately go and try to find an Italian guy to fight. <laughs> right. And then when he goes, all right, I'll fight you, you go, all right, <laughs> it's just we're a movie. good. It's just a movie. We're good. It's just a movie. <laughs> Give it to him, Rock. <laughs> Give him the right hook. He's a bomb. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a huge fan of Rocky. I, yeah, I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, Pedro, what about you? <laughs> Um, so I, I, I've been sitting here thinking about it and, um, for the longest time, and you and I talked about this uh, a couple days ago is that cars to me have always been like a, a necessity or a commodity, not, not a commodity, but a necessity, something, yeah, of course. something that you need to get from A to B. Uh, and, and, and it's a tool to make your life easier. Right. So I've never, I've never looked at a car in a way that this is my dream. Like this is the car that I've always wanted. You know, I've, I've, I've worked hard my entire little life. I, I haven't had things given to me all the time. My wife is the same way. We we moved out here to be actors. We wanted to be in the business, and we realized like how hard it was. Like you get slapped in the face and you get rejected immediately, and you also see your bank account dwindle to the point of like you're just in constant debt, and you're you're just working paycheck to paycheck. And for the longest time, that's how I was. But it wasn't until this week when I actually got my wife the. The C3, uh, the GLC 300, took that home and said, baby, this is yours. I said, this is yours. This is your Mercedes. She had a Mercedes before, and it was her pride and joy. She always wanted one, but but she had to give it up because we needed to help pay the bills. She, of course, she sold it because we had to pay the bills. And and I think that a lot of people out there can relate to that type of thing and just know that we're we're the same way. Like we go through these things, but you always you always climb your you, you can climb your way back up if you persist if you persist and i feel like i had that moment this week with my wife when i was able to take that home to her and give it to her so it, it really meant a lot this week so i i it's 
Good for you. It's really cool that you brought that up because it's it's relevant to me this week. Oh, what was her reaction? We, we, you haven't told us. Yeah, her yeah, she was yeah. thrilled. We didn't she see was, any she of was that. super super thrilled. I didn't record any of it because we were just kind of enjoying the moment together. Yeah, Tucker and Tate that. were with me. Uh, but she's absolutely head over heels about her car. She loves it, loves it, loves it. As she should, because we're so jealous of her. Very right jealous. <laughs> yes. All of us want one. All of us want one. But as as far as like worst car buying experience or car moment, I, I don't. I honestly, I don't have a, a a bad one because it's always just been a need. It, it it hasn't it hasn't ever been of like I want this, but it ends up backfiring on me. Like it's just kind of been a, a thing that you had to do. So All right. that's where I'm at. So sorry I don't have any bad news on, well, on the you, car buying experience. Well, if you go back and see how much you paid for certain cars, and now, <laughs> now, now with the knowledge you have, then you'll... Let, let's take a pause and go back to... <laughs> <laughs> um, Can I give you yeah, mine? Yeah, go ahead. What, what, Should yours? I give you mine? I, I think the best one was the first 918 I ever got. Mm. That's when mm. I knew... I got a hypercar. I got something crazy that I've, I, I'm playing in a whole new league that I've never been able to play with before. Because that was the biggest, it, in the car world, if you will, if you're a car guy, the biggest stepping stone is getting to that point, right? To the holy trinity, whatever that yes. is at that time. And to me, that was like, fuck. I get to buy one of these and I get to drive one of these and it goes back to me every night. That was like, Fucking crazy. Oh, that blew even my imagine. mind. That. Woo! <laughs> I love just thinking about those moments because uh, they just mean so much if you're really just paying attention and thinking and just enjoying yourself, right? Of course. And I just remember being behind the wheel of that thing when he was off and just turn the key and all of the green lights turn on and I could just mm. see all of the dashes come to life and I was like, Oh, I don't know. I just wanted to cry at that moment. But I think that's also why people are so excited about the things that we do on this channel is is because they see your excitement and how much you love these Our cars. Our excitement. Yeah, of course. Well, that's what it is. We're not we're not here just showing you the car. We're here to show you how we feel with the car, how the car makes us yes. feel rather than yeah, hey, look at the car. Anyone can show you a car, right? Yeah, of course. So to me, that was the greatest car moment of my life. And probably the worst one was getting rid of the uh, acid green one. <laughs> oh, mm. That, oh, oh, that just hurt like a motherfucker. I love that car. Love, love, love that car. But mm. you just got to do what you got to do, like you said, yeah. right? Yeah. Of and, and, and then, of course, a month later, it's like, oh, Alejandro, here's this amazing fucking business deal. You could have kept your 918 <laughs> and other shit. I was like, oh, good for me. But you I'm know not going to cry. You know I'm what? I'm not going to cry. <laughs> so, sometimes you have to purge those things for more good to come into your life. No question about it. And I feel like that that was part of that because getting rid of most stuff that I was involved with, with some others before that was there reminding me of that has been great, and especially because it had a weird connection to some, some other stuff that I don't want to have a connection with at all at any point in my life. So that's why, to me, it's so great that I'm getting rid of all of those things and everything is brand new and it's a brand mm -hmm. new, fresh start. And I agree. And Farshad, we've talked about this every single time. Every, sing uh, every time you're hitting rock bottom or every time you hit like the hardest thing you can possibly face, they're the only way is up at that point. The only way. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's physics, right? Yeah. It's chemistry and physics, it, it, I think. It, it truly is everything all together. It's just, it, it's, the, it's the way life goes, period, right? So yeah. knowing that, I was like, uh, and, and mind you, this is a very petty, oh, what a sad moment in my car history. That <laughs> I, I, I totally get it. I totally understand. I'm just saying as someone who loves cars, that was fucked up. And then afterwards, just great things. We've been buying and enjoying some yeah. new stuff. And then some others come in, uh, you know, it's, yeah. It's good time. I mean, I'm right sure. Now. I'm sure it's you could. I, right I'm now. sure you could sit down here and come up with 30 other worst car moments. I mean, e easily crashes. But easy. that's the that's the one that's immediately on the top of your head. Yeah, because it was the most recent. It needs uh, every single. Uh, because now I'm taking. At least I'm counting every single step that I take and enjoying it more. Yes. So now I'm thinking more in those uh, along those lines. That's why the the most recent one is the one that hurts the most because I yeah. thought of, I overthought about it. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Which well, I never do. I was surprised. I was thinking. I was thinking that one of your worst car buying moments would have been something along the Dodge Hellcat. Actually, no. I love the Hellcat. No, the buying it was the the, 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 the modification <laughs> was I, the problem. Yeah, and, and, uh, and listen, the mod was done 
wonderfully and everything. It's just I I hate it. Yeah. I hated the bags. I hate yeah. I hate the way they write with that. And you never know until you try it. So of I had course. to try it. Of course. So never again. But it, it, <laughs> I I bring that up. I bring that up because there's there's been important there's been an important uh, video that came out from Dodge that's giving more information on the Dodge Demon. Didn't they unveil that at the New York Auto Show like, yeah, a, like a day a, ago? Yeah. Like a burn a burnout on and, stage. And of course, <laughs> hang on. And of course, as we were watching the video at the house, Fargini, I look at Farsha and I go, of course they're playing Metallica. Oh, of course they're doing a burnout on stage. What about all that smoke that all the people that were in there? They're like, oh, man, come on, dude. I'm sure they had to sign a release before going in there. Oh, they, for sure. oh you're going to be inhaling cancerous chemicals. And, and, and also, I don't enjoy. Know, I don't know how the fire department let them do that in a, in a closed space. We've tried to have cars in a closed Hang space. Hang on, guys. There's so many rules. That sounds, that sounds like an old people's conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't think we should have that conversation okay, okay, right okay, now. Okay, okay. <laughs> what about, what about uh, some of the stats on this car? Remember I was showing you last night? Dude, yep. can, 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 we, can we please take it easy? Can we please take I mean, these are these are big you know boy the stats off the, uh, off the top of your head or uh, not? So the quarter mile was nine point six five. That's correct. Yeah. The zero to sixty was two point three seconds. Two point three seconds. Yes. So it's a what si- about it's the a, horsepower? It's, it's a six point two liter supercharged uh, Hellcat engine that's pushing eight hundred and forty horsepower. Like eight hundred and forty yeah. horsepower. Yeah. The Hellcat has seven hundred and seven, and it could not stick the yeah. back tires at all to the road. No, this is ridiculous. And, and, and also, what did I ask you last time? I said, "How are the, how does this compare to nine eighteen numbers?" What did you say? Uh, you can't compare both cars. I mean, I, I, but no, if, but it's numbers. Just if numbers. you're just looking at the numbers, that's literally nine eighteen numbers. Yeah. So, so here here's the difference, though. That's ridiculous. Here's the difference, though. Nine eighteen would blow this car away on any track in the world, but this car is built for drag strips. And, and I said, specifically, but until I see it, I just don't understand how the car can be that. Fast. It's it's built but specifically this, yeah. for drags. This is track. what I said. It's an American muscle car made for the drags. And I told you, if there's one thing the American muscle car can do, it's quarter mile runs. You said yep. that. Absolutely, yep. you said that. Yep. I just can't believe that. It's insane that it can go that fast so, by being a rear wheel drive car, big engine on the front with a lot of power, and not the most sophisticated system to split torque and like yep. throw the power in different. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I do, however. I'm not saying that it's not going to make sense or anything. I am dying to try it out. Of course. So, so speaking of, course. are you buying one? Oh, are you going to buy one? Are you going to get one? Be no. careful what you say. No. <laughs> how, many, how many are they making? A three thousand? They're making three thousand for the full yeah. run. And what it's do you not think of that? A very limited that? car. Uh, I, 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 because it's a it, it's a cheaper car. I don't know. Ba- ba- I don't care. We'll talk your, to Eric. <laughs> well, ba- oh, that's right. We'll talk to oh, Eric. Oh, Eric. Uh, we need to bring Eric and just ask her about this car yeah, because yeah, exactly. if she likes it, and obviously, I don't know. If you guys remember, Erica works at uh, O'Gara Westlake, and Erica is a challenger girl, if you yes. will, a Hellcat girl. She's a Hellcat girl now, yeah. Yeah, good for you, Erica. So we, <laughs> I want to know what the people that are in, into those cars right now, big into that community, think about this car. Because, you know, it comes with all the weight reduction, and they eliminate the seats, and they yeah. eliminate this. But they tell you... Oh, you want to add the seat back again? No problem. A dollar. <laughs> right. You want to add the back seat? <laughs> well, if it's like, a dollar, that's not bad. So hang that, on, that's uh, not bad. Hang on. You're going to end up with a Hellcat just with 850 horsepower? <laughs> and I also read in the, in the press release where they said, well, you know, just adding more power to a regular Hellcat would be super easy. Yeah, no shit. So yeah. this is what you did here, and you took out the seats. And now you're telling me that it'll beat everything on a drag strip? That's why I can't believe that. Yeah, so here, here's, the, here's the numbers. Uh, well, first, this, the, the options that were put into it. So they have it has drag function, line lock, uh, has the race fuel injection system, and it also comes with a specialized crate for all of your drag racing tools so that you can spend a nice day at the, at the drag strip without any problems. You can do all Along your with your money. Along, <laughs> exactly, along with your Speaking money. Speaking of money, what do you think it's going to cost? Uh, do they say? No, I have no idea. What do you think? What do you guys think? Eighty grand. What do you think? I, I say it's going to be at like one ten. Oh no! With markup or eighty with grand. markup? With yeah, markup, eighty with, with, grand. Yeah, there's going to be markup. Um, in your experience, how's this market going to play out with this? Is there an opportunity to make money? Or it's going to come out. The first ones are going to make money, no question about it. And then six, um, four to six months later, it's going to settle down. So here's here's Period. here's here's the other funny thing. So if anyone can get me one of the first ones at sticker. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the other funny thing about the car is that it is built specifically for the drag strip, yet it is not legal for that, the drag strip. I read that. <laughs> I read that. How? Yeah. I can, why? <laughs> okay, so one, uh, it, w- I think it was recently, as recent as 2012, they changed the NHRA regulations 
to where uh, anything that was 9.99 seconds and below or a 135 mile an hour trap, you have to have an NHRA license and special safety equipment. Uh, so one, getting the license is is kind of difficult. It can be done, but it is kind of difficult. But you can't just show up with this car and start running 140 traps and do a 965 time. Uh, hang on. What about a 918? Uh, I, I was thinking about that, and I think that we were running that drag strip illegally. Um, uh, this is a well, great to moment to post but, this here. <laughs> but I, we were in another country. But though. we had no... we. Honestly, we had no idea like what it's like on these drag strips, and also because the drag strip that we were at, it we were we were specifically there. Yeah, but we rented it. It was a private yes, event. Yes, it was we a, rented it. Regardless, it was a private event, and they have their own safety regulations. They they have everything going on, and also it's not an NHRA uh, sanctioned event. Gotcha. So if there if there was an NHRA event, you can't just show up and Got start it. using this car. However, I I don't think that there's that many people that can get behind the wheel, regardless of the output of this car, and run a nine six five. Like you just you no, really you have to, to know what, what you're, you're doing. doing. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You have to know. Um, but price, I have no idea on the price, and I, I think. What do you think? I told you, one ten. One ten is what I'm thinking with markup. Uh, eighty to ninety, I think. With, with eighty, yeah, eighty. 80. Uh, no, no, no. Don't consider the markup. Just tell me sticker price. Uh, how much is the? Do you know how much the Hellcat was? Mm. Yeah, around sixty-five. Oh, yeah, eighty. Ninety-five. Eighty. Eighty. Yeah. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Can I can I Google it real quick? See if it's leaked. Google it, yeah. please. While you're doing that, can I say one thing? I'm really not impressed with this car, because they're 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 putting they're they're, they're going, whoa, 840 horsepower from a supercharged big block V8, and it's like, uh, okay. I agree. Did you ever get on my Hellcat? No. <clears throat> they're fun. Okay. They're is there, a is lot. there is there advanced engineering that goes into that? No, car? Okay. no, it's okay. Oh, okay. no, it just brewed I, I just, absolute it, it, ridiculous just, there, power. There, there's a lot of chest pounding. Yeah. For. Raw, pure power. And right now we're in an era where raw power is cheap. It's not that expensive. I, no, 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 not at all. And this is why this car is so cheap, right? Uh, and I mean cheap, like, you know, relatively cheap to what you're buying anything else with 800 and some horsepower. I mean, that's like a LaFerrari, a 918, uh, a P1. Like, they're in the 900 horsepower range. Right, right. <laughs> I, I don't know. It just it, it lacks sophistication. What I, I just, I, to be honest with you, I am just dying to drive one. Because if they have like that wild factor, like the other Hellcat in a in a different type of package, I'd love that. I'd love to have one of those. But it has to be a different type of package. If you're just giving me the same car with just way more power, way more unusable, then it's absolutely useless. Pedro? So, so here's here's an interesting finding, and I and I found this on Motor Sorry. Authority. So I. I I, I, I appreciate them having this information, but each Dodge Demon is coming with a specialized serial plaque, which is going to have the original owner's name on it. <laughs> so what's going to make this difficult, what's going to make this difficult is dealers, when they place the order, they have to place an order with, with a name on it. If they haven't applied uh, that you, yet, you know why they're doing that? You know why they're doing that? To maybe prevent markups. It's, it's exactly oh my, exactly what they're doing. Second. Oh, but there's oh so many, there's God. so many ways around this. Well, here, here's How what the, here's many what cars are they're going to be with John Smith yeah, on it? Yeah, or the of oh, course, yeah, or the owner's name. We're just of like course, you know, of course, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Bob Vladimir, Whiteman, Vladimir Vodmans. <laughs> Well, Dodge is already Dodge is already saying that if if anyone wants to call in and order like a second or third or fourth plaque for the car, they're already saying tough shit. So hey, hey, call it call it, put a name on a plaque, guys. Just, just do it. Give us a call. We'll yeah. make the plaque. <laughs> plaque. <laughs> what, what, what will the plaque be? We what will the plaque say? What will the plaque say? What do you mean? Whatever Salam name you want. Salamandra. Be the, be the name. No, if I get a car, it'll be just my name. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. But call, I'm, call a dealer. What and I'm put get, your name down. What I'm getting at. Why are you it, trying to sell no, me? No, because car? because if if they're doing this so there's no markup and they give it to you at sticker, you wouldn't buy that sticker. If they put your name on one of these at sticker, you wouldn't buy it. All right, uh, as long as he's one of the first ones. Yeah. So uh, somebody at a Dodge dealer, please contact this man and he'll put his name down. <laughs> All right. All right. Moving on from Dodge Demon, I think we've I'll covered this. We've covered this topic. I'll quite, do it quite well. So, uh, talking about customizations on the Dodge Demon, I want to hop into some customizations. Uh, no thanks to RDB on this one. Uh, <laughs> is Ferrari has finally banned the color pink on their cars? Can I can I ask one question? Don't you buy a Ferrari to get the pink? 
<laughs> to get it. Oh, <laughs> not I to see paint what, it. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I see what it. you did there. Uh, but isn't but that's the whole like I see what uh, you did. Uh, for the most part. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. So I, I want to know your thoughts on this because you've had a couple of Ferraris and you like to do a lot of customization work on your cars. Like Man, what do you think about this? I, oh, listen, obviously every single time we talk about Ferrari, I'm gonna sound like a Ferrari hater because the reason why I get so pissed is because I hate their fucking stupid policies like this one. Yes. If I'm buying something from you, it's mine. I can do whatever the hell I please with it because I'm not buying a piece of your company. I'm buying something product, that your company makes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, I have some plans. I, I could not disagree more with this bullshit Wait, altogether. But they're saying as a factory color, right? But they're saying as a factory color. But also yeah. they're saying you cannot have like a Pokemon uh, Ferrari either because I don't know if you know this, but a DJ back in the day, do you know his name? Dead Mouse. Dead Mouse. Uh, had a Ferrari called the La Ferrari, and it had like a little La cat Ferrari. on it. Yeah, and it had like a cat on it. It was like Hello Kitty or something. Yeah, and it was a wrap, and he was super cool, and that's the dude's fucking car. Leave him alone. And they were like, fuck you, you can't have your car like that, so they sent him like a... Cease and desist. Yeah, basically. He, uh, I don't understand why people still like give him like, okay, yeah, yeah, I should. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. With all the competition that's out there right now, I think we live in the most amazing time to be a car fan yep. because you literally have the best of the old school. You know exactly which ones are the legendary cars of the naturally aspirated with the manual and all that shit. At this point, we know which ones are. There's no new ones coming out. We know which ones are the legends. We know what the great electric cars are. Are. We know what the amazing hybrids are. Yep. Like, we have it all. We have incredible regular, like, even the Mercedes, whatever you say, BMW, Audi, they're making such a solid, a, like, number of cars that they're putting together in their line. No right? one's putting out garbage. No one's putting out garbage because you got to stay on top. And then these guys are like, hey, do not paint that pink <laughs> and personalize think, it. Like, dude... Mc, McLaren's not complaining about that. Lamborghini's not complaining about that. Pagani, Koenigsegg, no one's complaining about that. Who the fuck are you to complain about Wait a minute. That? Wait a minute. I just realized something. Yeah? Maybe Ferrari is trying to, like, be the top dog in the car community as litigators. <laughs> well, they've always <laughs> been. Maybe, yeah. maybe that's, they just want to... They've always been. That's, like, their thing. Come on. How many rumors and shitty shit will come out against that company? And at what point are people going to be like... Uh, Sounds really shady. How far do you think we have to go to get litigation sent to us about Ferrari? We haven't done anything, we haven't done, and we'll yeah. never do anything illegal. No, yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, neither did, neither did neither did Dead Mouse, but he had litigation sent his way. Well, he just had some bullshit going his way. I'm just never going to buy a Ferrari. Can we wrap Ugh. your Can we wrap your four by four square and label it as a Ferrari? <laughs> nope. You know what? We're you're just making me troll Ferrari now. <laughs> we'll we'll buy, a, can we we'll, put a 488 wrap on your We'll McLaren? buy a 488 and make it pink. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Give me two months. We'll buy a 488 and make, make it pink. I'm so okay. excited. Sounds good? I'll drive a pink 488. Uh, Is that okay? Yes, you will. Because I'm not gonna drive that <laughs> shit. But you and I'm. But it's not gonna be pink like the CGT that everyone says it's pink. It's gonna be pink. It's gonna be pink, pink like Pepto. Pink, pink. Pepto. And pink. on top of that, what is the most annoying character ever that Ferrari would be pissed at? Because I think we should use it too as the theme of Barbie. Would they be mad if mm. Barbie was? Well, that'd, a part that'd, of be, it? that'd be great because Mattel will come after you and Ferrari. That's awesome though. Two, why would Mattel two do anything? Two lawsuits. Mattel would be mad because they, yeah, they have a deal with because, Corvette. Yeah, and you, and you, Barbie doesn't there want to sell the Ferrari, and because they don't want Barbie to burn up either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out okay. later. How to troll Ferrari? Hopping into the next topic, I, I, I'm still wondering where the hell the AMG GTR is. What is going on with that car? I don't understand what the hell is going on because I also saw a picture that someone took of a car and then saying for sale, ready. But I also don't believe that picture. I, I, I got an email from corporate or I saw an email that had corporate in it where it said that the cars were coming until June. No, I'm sorry, July, August, no, August, September. Mm. And that's all I know. Can, can we talk about the email that I got last night that I wrote to you? What was that email? That some guy has one on the way that'll be here in May in Florida. That's the one. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I, oh I, that's I oh, think okay. that I think that dude and I think others think that their car's still coming then. Oh, they're just anticipating that. Because to me, 
at, at Mercedes, they still tell me that my car's coming in a month, but I saw an email saying, because remember, we were requiring German uh, European delivery. In the European delivery email, they were like, we're down to do it with you guys, and uh, uh, it's just going to... It's just going to be until August or September because we don't want to release any cars for North America before that. But I'm not entirely sure if this is accurate or is not this, because I don't have like a solid source for it. Is this Kubler's fault? My, if he has anything to do with this, <laughs> I'm telling because Michael, F1 is Michael. Is this your fault? No. <laughs> I, can, I can picture him just working on an engine. He's like, no, 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 he's not. No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, and also, we know him, right? He's our boy. Why can't he just put us in first Mike, in line? That engine better be yours in my car because it'd be fucked up if it's not. Yeah, and Mike, please have a good day that day. Positive energy. <laughs> yeah. Be well rested. That's, that's like your the best one day. that you cranked it the tightest <laughs> yeah. and like gave it the more the most horsepower out of every <laughs> single and one. And even if you didn't do that, at least put your plaque on it. Yeah. Pl oh yeah. Remove please, somebody else's please, plaque. That's, please, that's, all, that's, that's all we, we care about. <laughs> please. please. <laughs> what What about you? What do you think? What do you think is going on? I, to me, it seems like that they're just trying to move as many GTSs as they can before they bring them, right. bring them out. And like, also, uh, I, I mean, we're jumping into that car. What about the price, dude? I have no, they, I have no I, idea. I, I didn't got, believe you, by the way, when you told me. They just I saw it. released you know? the price. I, yeah. I saw it. I didn't believe them. They just like, released no way. the price. It's right here. $159,000 base price. I, I, I would have been in like the 210 to 220 range. That's Apparently, I know have no, no I idea. I thought of the 300 range. When they first announced it, they said it was going to be a $300,000 car. Wow. Now, this is obviously uh, reports from everyone saying that that's going to be the case. <laughs> but if they do at 159, you know what they're doing? They're undercutting basically Porsche. They're saying your GT3 mm. RS is $186,000, $182,000. Guess what, homie? This is cheaper. So what they're also trying to add is because their car is so cheap, it'll make people pay way more over sticker of for course. the car. So, which if they really are doing this, mega props to AMG and to Mercedes. Also, with the 4 by 4 square being a limited car, Mercedes is now like, hey, hey, we coming, boys. We the, coming. It's just, I mean, it's just like, um, it's just like Porsche. It's, I mean, it's just like yeah. them. They have the infrastructure and everything in place to know that they can do this, and it's not going to hurt. They they don't have to put their cars at big big boy prices, yep. but they don't need to. They don't have to. They mass produce cars better than anyone yeah, else. That's Mercedes how they that's how the they make money. money that's how they cars. make money yeah. is, is moving units. What do you think uh, a loaded one's going to end up costing? Two hundred grand, dude. And at two hundred grand, that's a fucking sick that's ass car. Point. No. Yep, yep, yep. What do you think? Wow. Well, I, I think it's amazing. I've been dying to see it. I'm pissed that it's not here yet because we we I were know. told that it was going to be here in I April. Know. And, and I also think. They're now noticing that this is a bigger deal than they thought, and the, and the anticipation. I think is so, so too. Great. And they're like, "Let's stretch this out a little." I actually think so too, more. Fargini. Because I look at look at the way they're doing this. They just announced the price. Now everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, I thought it was three hundred. It's only one one sixty. I'm in. I'm gonna play some orders." Look, th th this is also this is also pointing to the Maybach Cabriolet as well. I think that this is gonna show some some big problems with that car. Not not the way that it's manufactured or anything, but by the way it's gonna be released. We were told, was it? December or January that we went to the event. I can't, I can't remember. Every when single day was. feels like it's been just <laughs> it one long day until right now. But when we went to that event, we were told that they were going to be ready by summer. This it's going to be the summer release. It's going to be the For one Pebble. to enjoy. Yeah, exactly. We were going to have it by then. But I don't see that happening now. I don't see that car coming out until Christmas. No, I I actually think if any cars have a chance of getting out of the factory quick are those no because chance. they're only going to make them in four colors. They they have like four or five specs, right? That's what they said. No, uh, yes, three colors. It was uh, red, white, and blue. blue. Yeah. No green? Go America. No green? <laughs> no, apparently not. Why would they do a green? Not for the Cabriolet. Oh, oh I'm sorry. The, cab the my back. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, oh, God damn it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, what was he saying about that? No, they're going to bang it up because they already have the platform and the everything, dude. I don't think it's going to, like... I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I think that they have a better chance of getting the GTR out in my, time. Just my AMG <laughs> GTR is sitting already at the factory. I already looked at my spec sheet. Right, it says that it's done. Hey guys, it's sitting hey guys, there. it's a big company. They have enough room to build like, a couple of cars here and there. Dear with, Mercedes. They, yeah, they, they make like hundreds of millions of cars. <laughs> they're they're going to be okay. And both, <laughs> and both cars are built on a, sim, on a similar yeah. chassis yeah. to another the, car. It's, so it's not gonna, like... Yeah, guys, don't worry. It's, it's a it's, special one-off. It's not the factory holding things up. It's marketing. It's marketing. It's 100. I hope... I hope they don't do that bullshit and they bring... No, it would be suicide. 
But we've seen 100 videos on the AMG GTR. Their marketing is done. Like, they've finished this campaign. No, no, no. They just need to put the cars out. But it's suicide for Mercedes to release the Maybach after the summer. Come on, dude. You, yeah, it's, it's a convertible. Come, yeah, 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 exactly. It's yep. going to happen. Mercedes? It's going to happen. I'll take a bet. Does anybody want to take a bet? $20? I'll put $20. What's the bet? $20. Uh, $20 that the uh, Maybach will be released after September 1st. Before. Okay. Before. Oh, I just made 40 bucks, guys. Oh, uh, you. Pedro. Thank you, fellas. Pedro. Wait, this, this means you and I only make $10. You know that, right? No, 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 no. It's individual bets. No, I make 20, 20 to both of you guys. So, what, so what actually, one? yeah. He's so you would only exposed. make $20. You would make $20, and you would make $20. But yeah. because I would win, I would take both of your 20 and be, make So he'd 40. make 40, okay. but he's exposed at 40. Is it, can I negotiate this out in any way, or is nope. it done? We are no, done. It's done. Right, done. It's done. It's done. I just I have no it's idea done. what happened. Okay. Yeah. What's next? Uh, you want to talk more, more about Mercedes? We, we, you always, more, we you, always you like to talk about Mercedes. Mercedes. Because Pete, mm. I, I've seen a lot of posts that you have too many Mercedes. They complained at too many Porsches. They complained at too many Rolls Royces. Now we're complaining about too many Mercedes. The important question is, why is everyone complaining about <laughs> why, having too many of something? I have no idea. It's I not like no we're idea. deleting something. It's like <laughs> there's too many of them. No, it was just announced last week that the GLC 63 is heading our way. Oh, So two two versions. W the coupe and the... Uh, just a regular... Uh, just and the S63. Yeah. I mean, they, I'm sorry, the, yeah, um, the S, GLC. right? Oh, the yeah. fact that they're putting that huge engine on that little oh. tiny sexy little we, thing. We saw some specs last night. Zero to sixty three point eight, which I think is conservative. I think Five. it'll be at three and a half seconds. Isn't I have that three point seven here? Yeah, three, oh, so Isn't 3. that 5. crazy though? Yeah. It's for, nuts. For a little SUV. It's gonna be that thing is gonna be bananas. Five hundred oh. horsepower and upgraded oh. interior. And the, the design, hang on, can we just give him huge props for that car? Because I it, they're, a they, home they're run. They're making my GLE Absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. You get in the GLE and you're like, oh, that's the E-Class from back in the day. And then you get in the GLC, which is all smooth outside, has all these sexy lines, looks just like the GLE, but like miniature, just like smoother in a way. And then you open the door and it looks like the S-Class inside of it. And you're like, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, feel, I feel really bad for you, by thank the you, way. Thank you, Pedro. Thank I you. I feel really bad because you're going to lose your ass on that trade-in. <laughs> for the, for uh, the GLC. Oh, <laughs> no, you know what? I'm hoping that Farsha really loves the GLE. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, that's a good that's plan, a good actually. <laughs> <Farsha's> <laughs> <a good. laughs> All right, so enough on the Mercedes talk. There's, uh, I want it. There's, I, oh, yeah, I, want it. I think we all do. It's an amazing, amazing car, mm. and I think well, it's going to turn a lot of You just got one, even if it's not a 63. It's still pretty cool. Yeah, I know. God I know, damn you. I know. Uh, so as you guys know, as you guys know now, uh, we just released a video this week that we did with Fast Toys Club. We went to Willow Springs. We put our money where our mouth was, or Fast Toys put their money where their mouth is. And, <laughs> they really did. And put the 488, the 675 LT, the Huracan, and the Corvette Z06 on the track to see who is the big daddy, bald, swinging. I don't know where I was going with can, that. Can, let, me, let me just... <laughs> Let me just say, how cool is it that we literally walked into their office? We started arguing with them after that Ferrari episode. Yes. <laughs> we started arguing with them about what car is the fastest. And they literally go, we do track days. We have all the cars. Why don't we do it? And I go, what? You never see people just do that. Everyone right. just wants to argue because of something they fucking read in a magazine. Let's just go do it. And so casually. Like, they said it so casually. Like, Let's just go do it. Just go do it. Fuck it. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And then we did it. And, of course, uh, now they regret doing it. <laughs> <laughs> now they're thinking about it. Now, whenever, now uh, whenever, it, may, it may not be released. No, no, no. Because every time we show up, and even to those guys, right? When we did Hyper 5, we did the other banging ears, we do anything. Everyone complains about the same thing. Well, I was not there. I don't know about the tires. I don't know about the driver. I don't know what you told them. Show up, and we're like, guys, listen. We just know the truth. This is what is going to happen. This is how it's going to go down. This is, no, no way, no way, no way. We got to see it. We got to do it with our own tires. And we did. Yeah, we so did. Three, three of the cars have the Trofeo R's. Trofeo R's and the, the uh, Corvette Michelin has Pilot Sport Cup The two. closest yes. thing to it because they That's don't make right. it for that. That's yeah, right. right. And, I, and by the way, I witnessed all the tire changes and I videoed. What, what do you think? Okay, so from everything that went down, what was your favorite moment and your uh, least favorite moment? Oh, I couldn't believe what the Huracan did. I, it, yeah, the Huracan. The Huracan's punching above its weight right now. Yep, 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 yep. I actually, I, I was actually really. Uh, well, what about you? Um, I actually 
slightly disappointed about the 488. I, 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 but, but <laughs> that's a great way to describe a 488. Listen, slightly disappointed. Listen, I was slightly, I was slightly disappointed. <laughs> right? Slightly disappointed because that's where that's where I was putting my money. I, I really thought that it was going to perform well, and even though it finished third, it still performed very well. Like it was with uh, it was within a second of, of, of first. Of like course. I want to say it was half a second back. It, it wasn't far off, and no. with the conditions and the and, and the way everything was, we could go back there next week, and I think that it, it, it would perform just as well. <laughs> no, but I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that the conditions that the 488 was under when it was on the track versus the others made any difference. I'm not saying that everybody was under shitty conditions because yeah, we had terrible it was cross, cold and was terrible super crosswind. Windy. Um, what I'm saying is I believe that if we took them back to the track, they would all still be within that same number. Oh, yeah. They're always going to be that close. Yeah, I don't think always, that yeah, anything's yeah. going to change. I think that they're that close. The competition is great. Uh, Tristan was fucking a maniac. That was his first time on the track. He took them all out for on a warm-up. On that track. On that track. He took them all out for a warm-up, got a feel for them, really, really got into them. He hasn't driven any of those cars, and he just he, – he, just drove balls out, like just went crazy, and, and that dude looks like a race car driver. I You're know, yes. I know. A French, he, he looks like a French race I car know. driver. Yeah. yeah, he knows what he's talking about for sure. I, I was just standing there, like when we were eating, and I had never met Tristan before. He just walks in, I go, "That's the fucking race car." Yeah, driver. Yeah. no <laughs> doubt about it. Exactly. exactly. No, I, I didn't. Have way, to he know does look like you. Else. He does look like you in pictures from his distance. <laughs> he was that fast away, took a picture. I swear, I thought it was. He's you for like a the good-looking version of me. <laughs> yeah. And I also like what he said about the Lamborghini. He yeah, said it was he, very easy he said, and accessible he said it was to the get there. Easiest drive. It was the easiest yeah, car to drive. It's with true. Well, I was mm-hmm. ripping that thing up there. It was so easy. You feel like you're going so slow because you're able to push it way more without like trying. But kudos, that car, go ahead. Kudos to Lamborghini. There, that yeah. like with this product. But I think with that, because it's so easy to drive and the way that it looks, the way that it feels, it's an instigator, man. It is. That Huracan oh, is an yeah. instigator. It's telling you, you fucking drive me hard. Like, yeah. just bring it on, bring it on. I'll take care of you is Let's what it's go. telling you. Let's go. I need such an easy one with the all-wheel drive. Yeah, that, that's I the mean, thing. The power of the all-wheel drive. Like it's, bulletproof. I was amazed. I, I, amazed yeah, with I would the say with that car, mission accomplished. A real-world, everyday yeah. supercar. I do think uh, the Performante, after driving that there, will destroy some ass. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I do. Uh, the one thing that impressed me was how easy it was for me to lose control of the LT. I, I, <laughs> no one, I was, no one, I was, no one knows this. I was no going to bring this. that up and see if you wanted to talk about <laughs> it. No one knows this. Will yeah. you, you feel, feel everybody in what happened? Because I, there's actually a little moment at the end of the video that that will kind of play into why that moment is there. So I'm driving in. I drove all day. I drove all the cars up and down. And I literally came from driving the, uh, the LT. And when I got out of the LT, I was like, fuck, man. Like, I had to do, like, an extra two laps on the LT while I was talking because I couldn't concentrate on talking. I just wanted to drive it harder and harder. And I lo- I, I don't know. I had so much fun on that track with the LT because it's the first experience that I've had with the ups and downs and, like, the long stretches with the sweeper on the back. It was great. And I was, like, feeling really good about myself and really good about the car. So I went down, and my friend Tony was there. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> he's, Mex- he's Mexican, by the he's way. He's Mexican, yeah. Hey, Tony, you want to get in the car? And Tony's like, hey, yeah, get me in the car. No. <laughs> he goes, yeah, let's get in the car. So we get in the car. And I'm like, dude, you're going to love this. Uh, we're going to take it easy. I'm going to explain you the whole track because obviously Leon and Chris showed me like the whole track and uh, where where your lines are and everything. So we enter the track and, and turn one is just a left. <laughs> just a left turn. And they literally, and, and the first instruction that I got the first time I got in a car that day was, you need to be careful when you're coming in. You want to stick to the left as close and tight as possible so that if anyone's coming fast, you're going to let them go through. Now, now I know the track was completely closed, completely closed. <laughs> and I know there was no one else on the track. But I was explaining that to Tony as we were going. So I'm grabbing the first left turn, not going any fast at all. Like if you watch it, uh, Tony actually has it on his cell phone. And I'm just going straight, make a left. And then as we're going on, on, on the left, really close to the edge, the car just goes and does a 360 on me. It was, <laughs> and he just spat me out into the dirt. Nothing happened because I, I was literally going so slow. But until right now, I have no fucking clue of what happened. No, And that's what scares me because 
you know when you fuck up when you you know over accelerate and then the car just throws you when you oversteer or understeer and then you can't turn you go into any I, I fucked up a million times on the track but that one I feel like that was not fair that was not fair at all at all like I, you saw when when the Maserati like broke traction I got that thing yep. this. Those conditions were pretty rough. Yeah, but this came out of no. I'm, I'm just making a left turn, getting into the track. Super easy with Tony. Tony's like super excited about his first lap, and that's how it ended. I'm sorry, Tony. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't get a lap after that because I felt so shitty. So that's a that's actually a blind turn from where we were set up with the cameras and stuff. So we we weren't able to see what happened, um, and we we honestly didn't even know that that had happened. It's just when you came out of that blind turn and you were up there towards the top where the concession stands and everything are and the and the yeah. stands. I looked up and I was like, why is he driving so slow? What is going on? I didn't know if like uh, I <laughs> fucked anything up in the car. Even though we just like grabbed dirt, nothing at all happened to the yeah, car. Can I tell you what I saw? Yeah. Okay. I had walked away. I didn't realize you and Tony went for a lap in the LT. So I come back to that tire area. You're there. Tony's there. Everyone's like looking down at the front right tire. I was like, oh, man, what happened? I looked down, and I can tell there was gravel. There was a little bit of gravel, like, on the tires and stuff. And the first thought I had is, oh, man, their, their race car driver just, like, crashed or, like, did something. I'm like, this might not be a good idea to get this guy in there. <laughs> and I, and I, and I, honestly, I was like, oh, this is not a good sign. Where We haven't even started yet, and he's already lost control of the car. And then, and then all I hear is, uh, I think it was Leon saying, like, oh, this front piece is like $14,000 or $16,000 of a brakes. I'm like, man, this is getting serious. And then someone mentioned something about you were driving. <laughs> and then I'm like, you were driving? Yeah. <laughs> I lost it. Thank you. I, Thank you. I By the way, it. no worries about the $14,000 piece. Nothing broke. <laughs> yeah, know? nothing broke there. Yeah, yeah. Nothing broke there. But that little piece that you see after the credits at the at the end where Tristan is in the Ferrari and gets out and, and starts throwing gravel off the track. That's me. He, he's getting rid of uh, the remnants <laughs> of Alejandro. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. I, 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 you know what? I've always, I've always wanted to be like... I don't want to say an accident because I definitely do not want to be in an accident, but I've always wanted to be in like something that happened like that without me getting into anything. <laughs> that was like the perfect moment for that because I lost it at that point and I, I, because it was so slow, literally just spat me out of the, the track, no big deal. But it, it was enough for me to be like, okay, I got to go back to being careful because it's been so long where I haven't had any problems right, like right, that. Right, right. Yeah. So it was a good... Uh, uh, Hey, settle down, motherfucker. Of course, but it was just killing you a little bit inside because you have no idea what happened. Until right now, it yeah. destroys me inside. Every single day, every single morning, I think about it. Why, God? Why? No, but overall, overall, I think that that video was a lot of fun. It was it was fun shooting it. I, I can't thank Fast Toys enough for, for allowing us to do that and putting this in our hands. Well, and they do that shit on the track, and you got to give them props. They do track events all the time with their own yep. cars. So if you guys are not members and you want to become members... Uh, uh, to fast talk stuff. Yeah, you, you, don't, gotta, you gotta check them out because you can also take the cars to the track and all that stuff and it's not a paid sponsorship. It's just because they do so much for us Yes, and we just can't thank them enough. Well, I mean, the fact that they just gave us all the cars, no problem, go shoot this, do it, whatever. Well, speaking of, I'm, I'm means confused. the world to me. I'm really confused. Did I win the membership? Did I not win? Because I was supposed that's to... Still going that's far separate. Shot. That's still that's going separate. far separate. You're not gonna win anything. I, that's still I going. did everything you guys asked me to do. You said go take you pictures were, with the logo in front of cars. I did that. You, can't. you said we post them. We weren't telling you to do that. We weren't telling you to do that. You just wasted your time. You're not eligible. Like, you're, you're not eligible. You're not eligible. So I'm, doing you're not eligible. No, I'm, I'm getting a membership. You what? You, I'm getting. I'm. I'm going to win one of these. This is California. Leon, Chris, I have nothing no. to do with it. I know this. a lot of lawyers. And, no, and, no, no. and just to be clear, guys, I know a lot of lawyers. And just to be clear, guys, you don't have to be. <laughs> you don't have to be a member of Fast Toys Club to attend their track days. It's actually a day where you can take your own car out there. You can sign up and that go too. with Fast Toys Club. Um, and it's also a good opportunity for you to meet with other members and Fast Toys to uh, learn more about their membership and and the value that it brings yeah, to and you. It's a Great way yeah. to spin out of control in your own car. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Speaking of spinning Next out of I'm control. Out <laughs> speaking of spinning out of control, let's hop into Far Shots headlines. Oh, by the way, we need some kind of, I don't know, like uh, don't worry, snake I already... charming, snake charming music, uh, maybe. I think. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just, Ivan, not too racist. You can't put my. Feet no, no, no. You gotta be okay. racist. <laughs> Thank you, Ivan. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hold on. All right, we're we're set for okay. Guinea. A first story. Pull over. French police gifted a Bugatti Chiron. Okay, what kind of tax write-off scheme is this? What's going on over what? here? What? A cop got a, a The Bugatti? police department got a Bugatti. Chiron. A Chiron. What? 
I don't understand. I, I, it's either someone owes someone something. Someone did something really bad at, <laughs> at uh, Bugatti. A massive tax write-off, or it's like a lemon, and they're giving it to the police. No, no, department. no. I, I feel like uh, uh, someone at Bugatti was drunk driving somewhere. <laughs> it's a, yeah. Got pulled over. <laughs> just, hey, right. sir, the I police. promise you, you get the car. It's free. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'm sorry. That's my French the, accent. The police department. And I was like, yeah, we got a Chiron. First service. Who's first, gonna, first service comes around. They're like, <laughs> wait, what? That's when we need to buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. Okay, so to the French police department, whenever you guys get to that bill... <laughs> Give your boy a call. <laughs> yeah, what? That's gonna be the first thing, right? An oil change. Oh man, you oh, want nothing oh, to do. With, you want nothing to do oh, with that oil change. Oh, okay, that's incredible. Thank oh, you for Okay, uh, and then afterwards we gotta go, <laughs> go find, find them. Go find, no, that's the whole thing. We'll let other people find them. It's okay. like a treasure. Oh my god. Okay, some Ferrari news. You ready for some Ferrari news? Oh. I'm always ready. Okay, La Ferrari headed for crusher in failed South African smuggling attempt. <gasps> Damn, what a shame. Now there's only 1,236 left. <laughs> <laughs> we can't afford to lose any more of these. Farshad, Farshad, come on. There's like 1,100 of them. Farshad, who are the, you accusing? <laughs> oh, he hit him in the Oh, man. Oh, what a bummer. That what was bummer. instant karma. It's okay. not because there's a lot of left Ferraris. Okay. Um, <laughs> some Audi news. Hit okay, it. Okay, come on. 2018 Audi A8 will be 20, 24% stiffer but 100 pounds heavier. That's also how I describe myself on Tinder. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Ivan, can I have a zinger that, noise for that one? That, uh, <laughs> that, is, that, is, that should okay. literally oh be God. your description. <laughs> it, it, is, it is. That's, that's, that's 2018 Fargini. <laughs> yeah, there yeah. you go. Okay, some Lamborghini news. Go ahead. An interesting news. You ready for this? Go ahead. So Italian police gifted a second supercar from Lamborghini... So they've already gotten one. Now they got another car. What's okay. up with these cops? Maybe I should become a cop. Go on. Hey, pull over here. And that's how they're going to pull, pull people over. <laughs> they're going to drive by in the Lamborghini. Hey, pull hey, over here. Hey, over here. By the way, one goal when we're in Italy, please, to get pulled over no. by Lamborghini. Please, please. I'll get us out of it. I'll you're, get us no, out of it. you're not hey, getting us out of it. Hang on a second. You're you not... think the Lamborghini's going to pull us over while we're in Italy, homie? Please, I please. Get pulled over, like pulled over in a like, like a Peugeot Fiat or some shit. <laughs> Peugeot, like, a yeah, fucking hell Peugeot. No, <laughs> hell no. Okay, there we go. Last one. Some more? F- no, 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 no. What do you mean oh, last oh, one? I have sorry. three. I have three oh, more. Wow. No, no, no. Okay, sorry. here we go. Here we go. No, no, no. no. I was more, just tricked by visual. More, so more, more uh, Ferrari news. I'm ready. Okay. Bizarre plot to steal Enzo Ferrari's corpse foiled by Italian police. Were they in the Lamborghini? Guess what car they used to arrest them. No. The Lamborghini no, police car. No, no, I made that. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. More Ferrari, more Ferrari news. Okay. Ferrari roller coaster rider takes a pigeon to the face at 112 miles per hour. That is incredible. A Ferrari hit 112 miles an hour? And that is absolutely <laughs> incredible. Insane. <laughs> okay. Insane. Uh, and the last one. This wait, might, wait, is the dude okay? I think he's okay because they released, you know, like, like if he died, I don't think they would have. Put that story out. No, of course Ferrari they would. No, no, Ferrari would have rolled it back. It rolled back the story. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The last one. I don't know if this is funny. I this actually is, think that's a great one. Go on. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if this one's funny, good news, or bad news. But okay. It's just the headline. Trump wants 99% cut in fuel and emissions testing. So basically, do what you got to do, Holmes. Hey, hey, whatever. Hold on. What? So he wants to cut the. Emissions testing that the government does for the car. Oh, he wants to cut the cafe by 99%. No, 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 no. The budget that the U.S. is spending to test these cars, he wants to cut that by 99%, and he wants to charge the manufacturers. So it's like, yeah, yeah, you got to, like, emissions test your car, but you got to, like, pay us to have it. I don't think he knows how manufacturers work. I understand that some should pay, but that'll literally destroy small manufacturers. We're going to dive more into that topic in next week's podcast. That's 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 an interesting one. By the way, but the reason I brought this up, because you're already seeing it, he's starting it. He's starting to chisel away at these regulations for miles for the uh, MPGs, yeah, and, yeah, and it's, yeah. it's going to be it's going to help the oil companies. It's going to it's going to help everyone. It, it's coming. Uh, guys. He, he's doing more than chiseling with the regulations right there. He he's monet, he's monetizing yeah, yeah. and bringing money back yeah, to the I'll, government. But that's but that could be a good thing too. Mm. That could be a good thing. Okay, uh, we'll talk about it. Later. <laughs> okay, yeah. so yeah, that's that sounds and, a little. And that's uh, that's headlines <laughs> for this week. 
So we're gonna dive. We're gonna dive more into that topic next week. Uh, I think that there's a lot to to there, to get into. And honestly, a, honestly, Fargini, that's a really good one. Yeah. So we'll get to the truth behind that. But I want to hop into another topic right now, uh, which is which is some documents that you uh, some documents that you released this week about the truth of exactly what happened. Gotcha. Uh, with 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 the breakup back in October. Oh. But before we get into that, I just want to tell everyone that we're gonna we're gonna have. I just want to tell everyone that you can listen to the rest of this on the podcast on iTunes. You, you can go over there to check that out. Uh, it's absolutely free, so just go and download it using your Apple iTunes account. Um, but from from here, we're going to hop right into that. And after that, we're going to we're gonna be done. I thought you were going to release my medical exams. I was like, <laughs> oh, man, people don't need to That's know that. That's next week. That's okay, next week. Oh, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> 